Hi, this is Robin from the Fuel Team. In this video, I'll show you how to log into your dashboard and I'll also show you its different parts. This is the first step in getting you on your way to managing and editing your own website. You can log in two different ways. You can go to the Fuel Team website, www.thefuelteam.com, and click Login at the top. Or you can go directly to this URL, login.drivetheweb.com. And here's your login page. I'm actually set up as a user by the name of Sally Smart. And Sally's email address is drivetheweb at gmail.com. And that's what you use as your login, your email address. So I'm going to type that in, drivetheweb at gmail.com. And Sally's password and click login. And this takes you to your dashboard. The different parts of the dashboard are up here at the top. It tells you who you're logged in as. You can edit your user settings where you can log out. Directly below that is the support center tab. Over here on the left, the manage my users tab and the my websites tab. This is the default page that it always comes up to. I'd like to go back over here to show you quickly the edit my user settings. I'm going to click on that. So if your name changed or your email address changed or you wanted to change your password, you can do that right here. Remember if you change your email address that that is your login. So that will change as well. I didn't make any changes so I'm not going to hit save. I'm going to hit cancel. If I did make changes, of course I'd hit save. I'm going to cancel out of that. Directly below edit my user settings is the support center tab. If I click on that, it comes up with a link and see below where it says the username and password is support me. When you click on that link, that's what you're going to use. Support me and support me. Click OK and this takes you to our support center. If you click right up here on the top on knowledge base, it takes you to a whole huge section of tips and best practices and um, user, user guidelines, all by different categories. So you can browse over here and look to see what might interest you. Or you can do a quick search over here on a topic click search and then the articles with that search string will come come up so that's the support center that's a very good place to go for uh, tips and if you have some basic questions I'm going to close out of that right now this takes us back to our dashboard I'm going to come over here to the manage my users tab and this is where you can invite other people in your organization to work, to be able to have access and to work on your website. Currently, I'm the only user right now that can work on these websites. And if I click on site access, it tells me I have site administrator access to the biz room and site administrator access to, access to the cause room. I can change that here since I have that admin dashboard admin level authority. I won't need to so I'm just going to keep it the same. If I did make changes of course click save. But I didn't so I'm going to cancel out. If you click on the invite new user tab this is where you can add somebody else. I'm going to scroll down just a little bit. You type in their first name, last name, email address, and confirm their email address. Once again, that's going to be their login. If you'd like them as a user dashboard admin, and that is the highest access level. Phone number. Over here is the email that will be sent to them automatically when you hit save on this page, and that will invite them to become a user. This is what the email says. It's the subject of the email and the content. 
and this is where you can give them access to your different sites either no access site author or site administrator site administrator has full access to the site manager editing on the site manager a site author can add and edit content but they can't edit the site structure of the website so our recommendation is when you first invite somebody new site author is a good safe access level and of course if you need to uh, change it after that you can so once I've added all that information and I hit save that email will automatically go out to that new person and that's how you invite new people that's how you edit their access level as well so let me go back down again and cancel that's the manage my users tab and under my websites this will list all of the different site managers that you have for our purposes I've got a biz room and a cause room that I can work on this takes you to the site manager link over here on the right the status says that it's live as opposed to staged and staged is before it goes public so you can work on it and make it look just right before you present it to the public and over here if you click this will take you to your live what we call the front end showing of your website but this would be the front end that's what actually shows on the web so I'm going to keep that open come back over here to our dashboard and I'm going to click on this link here underneath it's got lots of good information user activity logs if you click on that it'll tell you who's been working on your website and the date that it was modified so that's good information site access this is where you can manage your site users right now currently I'm the only one site info not sure how much you'll use this one but it does have some good basic information we use it on our side and by that I mean the fuel team uses it traffic reports this is where you can launch your urchin traffic reports you click right here launch scroll down a little bit more and also this tells you or gives you a chance to change who gets those weekly email urchin reports so you can edit right here if you want and the most important icon is this pencil icon edit your website if you click on that this takes you to your site manager and we'll have another video on the different aspects of the site manager but just so you know that's how you get there it's helpful to keep this one up see how it came up in another tab and your front end site I just clicked on that tab as well so you can work in your site manager make changes and save and then come right over here and refresh and you can see the front end and see what changes you made so for now I'm going to close out of the front end and the site manager takes us back to our my websites page and there you go that's the dashboard now you're well on your way to managing your own site please let us know if you have any questions our email is support at thefuelteam.com